Welcome back. So, did everybody have uh, a, an opportunity to have some punch and refreshments during the... Yes, thank you. Uh, no, I did not do them myself. We actually had the students from the Irving ISD Culinary Program at Jack Singley Academy put everything together tonight and did an amazing job, didn't they? So everyone who knows me really well knows that the cook in my family is my husband, not me. I could not have done what they did tonight. Those kids are absolutely amazing. So we are about to do something very important right now together. It's time to meet our judges. So if we can bring, I think we probably want to bring the house lights up just a little bit. All right, wonderful. So our judges this evening have the toughest job in the room, don't you think? After seeing these wonderful ladies tonight, they have to figure out who in the world to crown as our Ms. Mature Irving 2018. So we've got three very accomplished folks tonight with us in the community, I'm sorry, in the entertainment and community service fields. So let's meet them now. Our first judge is Sergio Galejos, director of the SCSEP program at the Urban Intertribal Center of Texas. If you would just wave at us. Sergio, thank you so much for being here tonight. Our second judge is Fred Carricker, a gifted performer and a board member of the spectacular Senior Folly Show. Fred? And our third wonderful judge is Jill Beam. Jill was Ms. Senior Texas America 2015 and an award-winning parks and recreation professional before her retirement, Jill. Jill may look familiar to you because she's been with us before and we're always so glad to see you when you're able to join us again. Thank you all so much for the tough work that you're going to be doing tonight and for taking your time to be with us this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves now at the final competition of the night, Evening Wear. Each of our ladies will model an evening ensemble and ask a question from our judges. It's a part of the show that the contestants can be most nervous about, understandably. We always tell them, just enjoy showing their beautiful gowns and be themselves and answer the question. So, how to make this part of the show fun for you guys and fun for them as well so they won't be so nervous? The fabulous young lady that you met earlier who sang that glorious song, Warrior, is going to be with us again. As I mentioned to you earlier, she was recently crowned Miss Texas Outstanding Teen 2018. She's very excited to come out and meet you guys and entertain you. We're thrilled to have, us with her, to have her with us tonight. And she'll also have a little bit of help from our friend, Doug McAllister. Please welcome back your reigning Miss Texas Outstanding Teen 2018 Addie Lee Forrester. Thank you, Kathy. It's been great meeting you and Doug. I'm in awe of these women tonight. Their talent is amazing. Ladies, you set a high standard, and I congratulate you all on a great job. I definitely understand pageant jitters. I can really empathize with the four of you. It was an honor to be named Miss Texas Outstanding Teen, and I take the responsibility seriously. I will do my best to represent the state of Texas. I hope I make you proud as I travel the state representing you this year. Now, it's a relief to be enjoying this pageant and not competing tonight because these four ladies are fierce. Judges, all I can say is good luck. All right, it's a pleasure to be here tonight, and it's a pleasure that we have husbands and sons to join in our fun. You've probably heard enough from me now. So let's begin evening wear. We are first going to start with contestant number one, Nina Elisalde Crocker. is escorted by her husband, Philip Crocker. Mm -hmm. 
Nia glows in a gold honey qua creation. This floor-length sequin gown is a long sleeve for those cooler Texas evenings. It is done in a trumpet mermaid style that definitely flatters Nina. The clean lines of this dress can lean either modern or old Hollywood glamorous, depending on the accessories. A gold hood is an unusual and lovely touch to make this gown unique. Nina has chosen an iridescent crystal necklace and earrings and gold strap heels to complete this elegant look. Just beautiful. All right, Nina, it's time for your question. What do you do to keep yourself active and healthy? What do I do to keep myself active and healthy? A lot of things. First is chasing my kids. I've got three daughters all over the country. Keeping up with them makes me active. Two, healthy, I need the energy to keep up with my kids and my career. I work as an accountant during the day, as you know. I manage a team of 15 around the country. I perform four to seven nights a week. What can I say? But health is very important. Positive thinking is very important. And you can do it. You can do it. Thank you very much. I love being 60. Excellent answer. That's contestant number one, Nina Elisalde Crocker. Thank you so much, Nina. I'm with Kathy. I need to learn how to belly dance too, so I might have to hang out with you after the pageant. <laughs> All right, moving right along. Contestant number two, Pam Fisher. Pam is escorted tonight by her son, Edward Fisher. A dramatic dark purple eggplant color is Pam's choice for this evening. This lovely gown features a lace covered bodice for feminine effect. Cap sleeves are a great choice for those warmer nights. The dress is done with a jewel neckline and a full circle hemline skirt. Silver accessories and shoes complement this beautiful ensemble. Isn't she simply gorgeous? Uh -oh. Okay, now Pam, it's time for your question. What do you recommend for people to do to age gracefully? Live a good life. Live a good life. Just keep going first. Live a good life. Great answer. Thank you. That's contestant number two, Pam Fisher. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Pam. Well, Galveston Island certainly gives us some lovely ladies. Let's keep going with these beautiful fashions. Here's our next lovely lady. Contestant number three, Elizabeth Aguas Raimondo. Elizabeth is escorted tonight by Ronnie Aguas. Elizabeth has chosen a soft and feminine look for the occasion. This gown is designed with a crew neckline done in a simple sheath style. The pretty gown has a lace top with long sleeves. The skirt is straight and there is a sash of matching crepe material. 
Shades of rose pink are the perfect color for this delicate and romantic dress. Elizabeth has finished this look with gold stud earrings, a gold tubular necklace, and cream colored strap sandals. You are ready, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, it's time for your question. What does it mean to be a senior citizen in today's world? To be a senior citizen in today's world? Yes, ma'am. Means uh, a lot of responsibility. You have to be a model for these young kids that are growing. <laughs> it's hard work. <laughs> Smart and attractive. That's contestant number three, Elizabeth Aguas Armando. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Thank you. These are some powerful women. Thank you, Elizabeth. They are all looking exquisite. We have one more wonderful contestant to see, and let's greet her now. Contestant number four, Becky Scherschel. Becky is escorted tonight by her son, Ryan Scherschel. Becky shines in a navy blue floor length gown by Chikara. The fitted and overlaid top is beaded with navy blue sequins and gold beads and bordered on the bottom with gold beads. The long sleeves are also beaded and feature pointed edges and similar beaded borders. A full, lovely cow neckline falls gracefully over the bodice of the dress. The solid blue lined chiffon full skirt finished the look. The ensemble is completed with a sapphire drop necklace with matching earrings set in gold and a diamond and sapphire ring, a Mother's Day gift from her family after the birth of her daughter. Navy blue beaded sandals by New York Transit with a cut out tapered wedge heel and an ankle strap are perfect partners to the jewelry. For a final flare, Becky's hair is done in an asymmetrical style with a gold hair clip on the left side. Isn't she just gorgeous? All right, it's time for your question. How will you promote the Miss Mature Irving pageant? I hope to make appearances at many places, many times. Smile make people happy, play the harp, and do whatever I can to keep Irving happy. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing answer, Miss Becky. Thank you so much. That's contestant number four, Becky Scherschel. Thank you so much, Becky. Well, that was wonderful. Seeing all those dresses and jewelry, I feel like I need to go through some fashion magazines and start shopping now. Our four contestants all did a wonderful job of modeling and answering the questions. Um, thank you so much Avanti Rehabilitation Center for providing hairstylists to keep camera ready. Thank you to Tiffany Martinez of Mary Kay Cosmetics for helping us look our most beautiful. Thank you also to Jamie Draper of the Heritage Senior Center for making sure the ladies felt pretty and confident before they came on stage. Judges, it will be a hard decision, but I know you're going to do great. <laughs> I'm going to turn the podium back over now to the wonderful Kathy Whiteman. Thank you, everyone, and enjoy the rest of the show. Isn't Addie Lee Forrester lovely? Bravo, Miss Texas Outstanding Team 2018. We will absolutely be watching and supporting you as you go through this exciting year, Addie, and just, I want you to know you've got a brand new fan here. So that concludes the evening's competitions. Now it's time for the scores to be tabulated, and I'm sure the judges have done a great job, so I'm really looking forward to seeing the results. We also need to thank our score tabulator, Shahana Malik of Malik CPA and Advisor PC. I'm glad they're tabulating these scores, not me. I mean, I'm, I'm okay with math as long as I've got a calculator in my hand. Um, I'm very glad not to have that job either. So as they get to work, we want to take a moment and recognize some very special women. 
They are your former winners of the Irving, of Miss Mature Irving pageant, and the words elegant and phenomenal really do seem to describe them well. So let's say hello to them this evening. Now, here are your former Miss Mature Irvings. <laughs> Miss Mature Irving, 1997, Sybil Yaus. She knows something about that shimmer and sparkle too, doesn't she? That's our Sybil. Ms. Mature Irving, 1999, Gloria Oliver. <laughs> Gloria and I have known each other since I was a sophomore at the University of Dallas. We met when I was trying to get a telephone installed in my dorm room because I didn't want to have to go down the hall and put a dime in the... Y'all remember that? <laughs> Gloria Oliver, folks. Ms. Mature, 2000, Carol Schober. Those of you who have been attending Ms. Mature Irving pageants for a few years know that Carol Schober was a wonderful music teacher before she retired and she played the flute the year that she won Ms. Mature Irving and did an amazing job. We love our Carol. <laughs> Ms. Mature 2003, Mitty Mohan. So I can tell that you guys know Mitty. There's nobody quite as sassy as Mitty Mohan. Miss Mature Irving, 2008, Jody Smith. Jody, I love that hair. You are just too cute for words. Ms. Mature Irving, 2010, and Danford. And Anne knows how to do that sparkle and shine, too. We love you, Ann. <laughs> Ms. Mature, 2011, Mary Little. I go ba way back with a lot of the ladies that are in the Golden Girls. Mary Little sold me my car a few years ago. <laughs> It's time for me to get some new glasses, folks. I managed to miss the lovely Miss Mature Irving 2004, Loretta Jensen. Loretta is one of those people who is very quiet but has a powerful presence. And now, Ms. Mature Irving, 2012, Kay Waters. Do you all remember when Kay sang, what the world needs now is love, sweet love? I'll never forget that. Ms. Mature Irving, 2015, Aura Reed. <laughs> Ms. 
you all may remember that Aura has a great love of puzzles and can put puzz jigsaw puzzles together like nobody's business. And Ms. Mature Irving 2016, Marilyn Wofford. There's bling all the way there, right? Absolutely. What an incredible group of ladies. How about a hand for all of our former winners of the Ms. Mature Irving pageant? <laughs> ladies, you have set the bar very, very high for the Ms. Mature Irving winners, and I'm sure you'll be ready to welcome them to the pageant family and give them some advice when they need it. They've certainly been good at giving me advice. Well, folks, right about now, the staff at Malik at CPA and Advisor are working feverishly to add up those scores. I can almost feel the energy rising up because, you know, they're downstairs. It's like hot standing where I'm standing. Or maybe that's just me. Um, <laughs> it could be I'm having a personal August over here. Um, <laughs> we really appreciate them being here tonight and taking care of the tabulations for us. But while we wait, I have a great idea. The one and only Doug McAllister is here this evening, and he's got some wonderful music for you. Hey, everybody. Ladies, this is for you. I hear music when I look at you. A beautiful memory that all my dreams come true. Deep down in my heart, I can hear the sound. I hear it start, and then it lets me down. I hear music when I touch your hand. A beautiful memory of love and life and land. It looks me. The beauty takes me a breath away. This is the song You alone have got my heart in two Yes, you alone are maybe one or two <laughs> You make me say I'm losing it really, babe They're talking at me Then you did my love and say, hey, baby you got my love alone with you, Mitty, my baby. I'll always remember you whenever you say you ladies are top. I sing this song, this song's for you. Ladies and gentlemen, your past mature Irvings. Aren't they wonderful? Thank you, ladies. These are the Golden Girls, folks. The ladies are going to leave the stage now. But we've still got more coming from Doug McAllister coming up next. Ladies, it is a pleasure to see you all gathered. It's wonderful to see you on stage. Nobody quite shines like these Ms. Mature Irvings. Let's give them another round of applause, please. Now, in case you missed it when Doug came out before, you're going to get a chance to see him again. And I want you to take a look at those shoes. I'm just saying. So, ladies and gentlemen, please come welcome back to the stage, the one, the only, Doug McAllister. I don't know if you can see the shoes now. Just in time, I found you just in time. Before you came my time 
was running low Well, I was lost My losing dice were tossed My bridges all were crossed I had nowhere to go Well, now you're here And now I know Just where I'm going No more doubt or fear Cause I found my way For love came just in time I found you just in time And changed my lonely life that lovely day Dice were tossed, my bridges all were crossed, I had nowhere to go, well now you are here, and now I know just where I'm going, no more doubt or fear, baby I found my way, for love came just in time I found you just in time and changed my lonely life that lovely lonely life that lovely lonely life that lovely day thank you You guys have been a great crowd, and other ladies have appreciated it, and I appreciate it. The aisles aren't big enough to dance in, but if you can make it work, feel free. you somehow this feeling just grows and grows with every smile I become more mad about you more lost without you and so it goes can you imagine just how much I love you The more I see you As the years go by I know the only one for me Can only be you My arms won't free you Oh baby my heart won't try the more I see you, the more that I want you. Somehow this feeling oh, just grows and grows with every sigh. I become more mad about you. More lost without you And so it goes Can you imagine How much I love you The more I see you As the years go by I know the only one for me can only be you. My arms.
arms won't free you and my heart won't try my arms won't free you and my heart won't try oh, the more that I see you I just gotta have you every 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 day Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Doug McAllister. Bravo. <laughs> Doug, the more we see you, the more we want to hear you sing. So y'all may remember that Doug was the last senior idol when the contest was still going on. So I think he's still the reigning Irving senior idol. Don't you think so, Doug? Well, maybe we can get him back out here and he'll answer that question. So. Right now, we want to take a moment to recognize some special guests in our audience. Let me just flip to a page because I want to, of those folks, I definitely want to mention our sponsors. I believe we have our Mayor Pro Tem here with us tonight, Councilman Oscar Ward. Will you wave at us and his lovely wife? Thank you guys for being here with us tonight. And um, if I have overlooked anyone, it's because I cannot see you. <laughs> and I apologize for that. Um, charge that to my vision. <laughs> Our sponsors this evening, as you may have seen in your program, are Advanced Solutions, Brookdale Senior Living Solutions, Northgate Plaza Nursing and Rehabilitation Center, MacArthur Hills Senior Living and Memory Care, AmeriLife, Toyota of Irving, Right at Home In-Home Care and Assistance, Robin McCoy Realty, Golden Carrots Jewelers, and the City of Irving Department of Parks and Recreation. We also want to give a shout out to our friends at the Irving Rambler because they always do a great job covering events here in the city. So thank you guys so much for being a part of the evening. Thank you, Councilman and Kay Ward. It's a pleasure to see you. We have had such a wonderful time this evening that I can't believe it's almost over. So I wish we had a drum roll here. Before we get to the presentation of awards, I would like to take the opportunity to reintroduce our beautiful contestants. Contestant number one, Nina Isalde Crocker. Contestant number two, Pam Fisher. <laughs> Contestant number three, Elizabeth Aguas Rimando. And contestant number four, Becky Scherchel. <laughs> Ladies, you are all, in a word, exquisite. It's really been great meeting each of you through this whole process and getting to know you. I'm sure that each one of you would make a wonderful Ms. Mature Irving. I know that they all do a fantastic job representing Irving and its seniors, but we have to wait just a little, little bit longer to find out who it's going to be this evening. 
First, we have a very special lady that we should show our appreciation for. You met her a little bit earlier this evening, our reigning Miss Mature Irving 2017, Louise Childs. Lu <laughs> Louise encompasses all the energy, intelligence, and heart that is Ms. Mature Irving. Here for her final walk as your reigning Ms. Mature Irving, please welcome Louise Childs. gentlemen, thank you for coming this evening and supporting the Miss Mature pageant. It has been a wonderful year for me, and as I look back on all the functions I've attended, I realize how very blessed I have been. I was so honored last year when I was crowned Miss Mature, and I tried to attend as many celebrations as I could. I went to a Halloween party as the Queen Bee at the Senior Heritage Center and buzzed around wishing everyone a happy Halloween and giving out candy. I volunteered at the Los Colinas Symphony and the ICT main stage, as well as riding in the Christmas parade. The parties at the Heritage Center included a Christmas party, a Valentine's party, and a dance, St. Patrick's Day party, and an Easter party. It was such fun giving out goodies and wishing all the seniors in attendance a wonderful day. I represented my aerobic swim class at a city council meeting, protesting the closing of the aquatic center during June and July. I was invited to a Republican meeting and a Lions Club meeting where I enjoyed greeting folks and talking about our fabulous city. I was greatly honored to lay a wreath at the Veterans Memorial Park for Memorial Day and so pleased that my husband was able to attend with me. He is a World War II veteran. The Senior Heritage Center had a party on Independence Day, which I enjoyed very much and proudly rode in the July 4th parade. And I was also privileged to attend the retirement party of Ray Serta, who was in charge of parks and recreation for over 30 years and was such a great leader. Tonight I get to culminate a great year with my crowning of your next Miss Mature. Thank you again for all your love and support and God bless you all. Ms. Mature Irving, 2017, Louise Childs, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a wonderful year. Thank you so much, Louise. So, you'll be joining the Golden Girls Alumni Club very soon. We've got some important business to take care of and some very important people here to help us. Miss Texas Outstanding Team 2018, Addie Lee Forrester, and Mayor Pro Tem, Oscar Ward. Addie and Mr. Mayor Pro Tem, if you would join us at the podium. No, I'm glad you told me because, whoa. <laughs> that would not be a good look tonight. There are cameras here. Mayor Pro Tem Ward, I believe you have a special proclamation this evening. Yes, ma'am, and thank you. And before I read the proclamation, I, I do remember you at the city council meeting protesting. <laughs> <laughs> well, you picked such a wonderful time to close the swimming pool, July yeah, and August, yeah. you know? Well, we fixed you up at North Lake, I think. Yes, we? you do. It was right. wonderful. Right. Thank you. Water nice. was cold, but it was wonderful. Well, thank you. So uh, I'm here representing the mayor and the uh, city council members of the city of Irving. Uh, city of Irving, Office of the Mayor Proclamation. Whereas... On October the 6th, 2017, at the 35th Miss Mature Irving Pageant, Louise Childs was crowned Miss Mature 2017. And whereas Louise, Louise is one of three children, was born in Alberta, Canada, and migrated from the frozen north. And whereas Louise held a variety of jobs in her youth, including kitchen assistant, an elevator operator, an NCR operator, and bookkeeper for a bank and a hardware store. More than, spent more than 10 years as a teacher and administrator for the provincial government. And whereas Louise moved to Irving in 1998 and, was a dedica and has dedicated her life in caring for her daughter, grandchildren, and get this, 38 foster children and her husband of 43 years. And whereas, Louise has kept up her youthful spirit by participating in the Red Hat Society 
in the, now get this, Frisky Foxy Jewels right chapter. And whereas Louise has supported the performing arts by acting in community theater, portraying such roles as Ms. Higgins in My Fair Lady, Sister Mary Teresa in Sister Act, and Aunt Josephine in Anne of Green Cable, Gables, and serving on the board of directors for the Los Colina Symphony. And whereas in honor of her reign as Miss Irving, I urge the residents of Irving to join me in celebrating the life of Louise Childs. And now, therefore, let it be known that I, Rick Stover, Mayor of the City of Irving and the City Council, do hereby proclaim Friday, October the 5th, 2018, is Louise Child's Day. Thank you so much, Mayor Pro Tem Ward, and lovely, gracious words, and such a well-deserved honor. Congratulations, Louise. Thank you. Well, I don't know where the time went, but we are about to find out who our winners are. I'd like to be joined at the podium by my co-host, Doug McAllister. You'll come on over. We, let's also have our former winners of the Ms. Mature Irving pageant and our backstage volunteers join us on stage as well, because we're about to line dance. No, <laughs> we're not. I promise you we're about to find out. <laughs> This very first award is a special one because it is voted on by the contestants themselves. It's our Congeniality Award. This award goes to the contestant who best personifies the qualities of sportsmanship, friendliness, and helpfulness. And the Congeniality Award goes to Nina Elisande Crawford. Congratulations, Nina. You have been a joy. And it's easy to see why they voted for you from this congeniality. And now, Doug. Our next award is very important. Should our Miss Mature uh, uh, winner not be able to fulfill her duties, first runner-up will assume those responsibilities, and that's not an easy task. So tonight, I'd like to present our first runner-up, Rebecca Shershill. Congratulations, Becky. Thank you for being a part of the show and for your commitment to Irving. Ladies and gentlemen, the hour has passed really quickly and we are here, we have the results. We want to thank you all for being such wonderful contestants. We're so very proud of you. And believe me, no one is more proud of you than your pageant coordinator, Pat. We must choose only one of you though, so let's find out who she is. Ms. Mature Irving, 2018. Nina Elisalde Crocker. Fairy tales can come true, they can happen to you if you're young at heart. It's hard you will find to be narrow of mind when you're young at heart. You can go to extremes with impossible schemes. You can laugh when your dreams fall apart at the seams. And life gets more exciting with each passing day. And love is either in your heart or on its way. Don't you know that it's worth every treasure on earth to be young at heart? For as rich as you are, it's much better by far to be young at heart. 
And if you should survive till 105, think of all you'll derive after being alive. And here is the best part, you have a head start if you are among the very young at heart. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been great having you tonight. Thank you so much. You've been a great audience. Please come up and say hello to our contestants and congratulate the winners. The ladies are going to stay on stage for a little while, so you really are invited to come up and meet them, congratulate them, and get some pictures. Thank you guys so much. You guys have been a wonderful audience, and we look forward to seeing you again next year at the 37th annual Ms. Mature Irving Pageant. Good night.